Five things to know about high ticket sales. Are you a coach or consultant who's currently billing by the hour or pushing courses or even other low end products? Listen, maybe you're already selling your services for thousands of dollars, but you're interested in selling it for ultra high value fees. In either case, it's really important for you to know these five things about high ticket sales that I'm going to share in this video. Hi, I'm Jessica Yarbrough, top business strategist, and my clients hire me to help them sell ultra high ticket services. And whether you're selling to individuals and you wanna attach a $25,000 price tag, or you're selling to businesses and you want to attach a $150,000 price tag, pricing strategy is a big part of why my clients hire me. So what are the five things you should know about high ticket sales? Let's dive in. Number one, you are no longer reliant on volume to hit your numbers. Simple math shows you that with a handful of ultra high ticket clients, you can actually make a lot of money. Take my client, a leadership consultant. When she came to me, she was stuck at around 300,000 per year. We quickly shifted her into selling six figure packages. She actually sold a handful of these and hit seven figures in just one year. If you haven't downloaded her case study, be sure to it's, uh, pinned in the, in the comments below. So when you're selling multiple six figure packages, you only need a handful of clients. And even if you're saying selling say $50,000 packages, you still do not need that many clients to make a half a million or a million dollars. In fact, one of the biggest traps that coaches and consultants uh, get into is acquisition that constantly needing new clients for their business. They often sell short term engagements for a few thousand dollars and they need more and more clients in order to hit their income goals. With high ticket sales, you eliminate this. You focus on signing fewer yet higher paying clients with longer term engagements and get off that hamster wheel of needing a volume of leads to hit your goals. Number two, you have more cash flow and you can grow your business faster. Another thing you should know about high ticket sales is that you do have more cash flow and therefore you can grow your business faster. The biggest issue with other models is low ticket means little bits of cash coming in. And let's face it, it's expensive to run a business. You have to pay for your team, your systems, your software, your taxes, and you still have to pay yourself. And when you sell a $150,000 contract, you just injected a tremendous amount of cash into your business. I mean, even if you sell a 50,000 or $75,000 high ticket deal, that's still a lot of cash coming into the business at once. And whether you have invoices paid in full or even a contract that gives you $10,000 a month, that gives you the ability to invest back in your business. So many business owners are stuck because they don't have the systems and the team to scale, but they also don't have the money to pay for the team to come in and help build their systems. It's kind of like a chicken versus egg scenario. When you successfully close ultra high value deals, this issue is el eliminated. You get recurring revenue. So you can hire the team to build your systems so that you have the capacity to take on more clients, grow your business and pay yourself more. And this is so much faster than relying on slowly building up enough cash flow from a low ticket model. Number three, you don't need a big audience to monetize it. The really important thing you should know about high ticket sales is that you don't need a massive audience. In fact, course creators and membership model gurus constantly push how easy it is to sell courses and memberships. And it's actually not. In fact, many course creators never monetize their course. And we can get into the intricacies of digital marketing and why that happens. But what a lot of the gurus don't teach is that in order to really monetize that, I mean, make a million dollars off a course, you're going to need a fairly large size audience. And if you don't have that, you will need to spend a lot of money on ads to get the audience to then buy your course. And many coaches and consultants don't have tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of followers that they can market their courses to. Again, come back to point number one, when we talked about with high ticket, you're not relying on volume. Well, with low ticket, you are, that means you need a lot of people in your audience to see your offers and be ready and love the offer enough to buy with high ticket. You can have a fairly intimate size audience. And as long as it's the right people, meaning your target market who are experiencing the pain of the problems that you solve, then they're going to buy. The key is to have a warm audience of qualified buyers, whether this is in your online following or even a personal Rolodex. A great example of this is my client who's a consultant and had virtually no following on LinkedIn. He had built his business primarily through word of mouth and he had no social media presence. 
Well, after we put together his program and launched it, he was able to sell a six figure offer with maybe only 800 people in his audience. And, and that's tiny. Again, it's about quality over quantity. And, and if you're a coach or consultant and have a great offer and it's positioned powerfully, you can have a small but qualified audience and generate a lot of money from it. Number four, you get your time back. Another thing you should know about high ticket sales is that it does give you your time back. Like we talked about earlier, so many coaches and consultants are caught on the hamster wheel of constantly getting new clients. And let's say you're selling a $5,000 coaching package and your goal is to make 50,000. That means you're going to need to acquire 10 clients in order to hit your numbers. Well, if we do the math and let's say you have an average close rate of 20%, which is the industry standard. So basically one out of every five sales calls, that means you're going to need to do 50 sales calls in a single month in order to hit your goal. This is how many people burn out. And believe me, I've had people call, get on the phone with me, and they're doing 35 to 50 sales calls per month. And yet they're stuck making less than 300,000 and they're exhausted. When you shift into selling really ultra high ticket, all of that changes. Let's say if you're selling a $50,000 program and we use that same math, that means you're only going to need five qualified sales calls to close that $50,000 client. Now you just got back 45 hours of your time. If you're selling a $25,000 package, you're only going to need to have 10 qualified sales calls in order to close two people. You just got back 30 hours of your time. Selling higher ticket means you don't need as many leads. You're not getting on as many sales calls and you're making more with each deal all while getting your time back. Number five, you go deeper with clients and can make a bigger impact. This is the final thing you really need to know about high ticket sales. We know that courses have an 85% attrition rate, which means that most people buy a course, watch a few modules, they get lost and then they close it up and it sits and collects dust on their laptop. Even when you're selling a program for a few thousand dollars, people may invest 2000 or 5,000 into a program and literally come to one or two calls and disappear. On the flip side, when you're selling ultra high ticket, People tend to show up and they do the work. Why? They have more skin in the game. They will take a $50,000 investment much more seriously than a $5,000 one. And hopefully your goal as a coach or consultant is not just to make more money, but to actually make an impact and change people's lives. If this is the case, then having a high ticket model is the way to go. The more they pay, the more they pay attention. If you want results, a higher ticket model aligns with your clients getting greater results via them making a bigger financial commitment. I had a business strategist client who hired me because she was stuck in her revenue. She was frustrated that no one in her $5,000 coaching program was executing or even getting results, even though she was pouring her heart into the group and giving them advanced strategies to help them succeed. So we positioned her to go after a higher caliber market and moved her selling her program to 20 to 25,000. Not only did she close six figures of sales in just two weeks of launching that new program, but the women in that group went on to execute and get even bigger results than anyone that she had previously sold in her $5,000 program ever had. Why? Because they made a bigger commitment. And the result was she not only made more money, but she made a bigger impact with her clients. This wraps up my video on five things you need to know about high ticket sales. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you know when each of my new videos drops. Until next time.